Real Animals Fishing Show is presented by Mosaic, helping the world grow the food it needs. And by Yellowfin Yachts. Today I'm fishing out of beautiful Ruskin, Florida. I'm with my good friend Mike Tinian with Mira Lure. We're throwing lures. The bite's been off the hook. Whatever you do, don't touch that dial because it's going to be off the hook. We made about a three, four mile run this morning down to a deep grass flat. We're on the back side of the full moon, actually about two days out from the full moon. Probably my least favorite tides to fish. Last couple days I've been fishing in the back country. Really, really tough bite in the morning. Most of the day, the bite on the full moon is normally at night. So having to struggle a little bit here. I found this deep grass flat holding a lot of trout, a lot of blue fish, a lot of crazy action. We've got a first fish right there. Nice blue fish already. So this is what we're choosing to do this morning. Mike and I were able to get together, do a little fishing. We're going to throw some prototype mirror lures, some of our little johns, some soft shads, some marshmallows. Just see how many fish we can catch this morning. It looks like we're starting out good. Yeah, we got a nice blue fish nice here. Nice blue fish. I like blue John. fish. I really do. That's that chartreuse ice. Is that what you were throwing? Yeah, that chartreuse ice. And That's a great John. color. That's a nice blue. These, there were some nice blue fish in here yesterday. And I'll tell you what, for as far as action and fishing just for, you know, trying to catch some fish and maybe teach kids how to use artificials, you know, this is the way to do that. Find a flat that's full of fish. There's a lot of speckled trout out here. There's some mackerel, some bluefish. Very few fish in the entire state of Florida are any funner on artificial than bluefish. Stop. I'm trying to get you unhooked. And they right fight really they well. Fight you know, really they pull well. hard. They'll that's, come out of the water like that's that. That's a one cool did. fish. You just got to be careful because they do have some chompers on them and they'll cut you up a little bit. But that's a great fish on artificial. Again, they're super aggressive. They feed really, really well. So a lot of times, again, if you're trying to teach a young angler how to use artificial, build their confidence, that's a great fish to get them on. That a boy, way to start things this All morning, right. kid. That a boy. We're both throwing the mirror lure little johns here this morning on quarter ounce jig heads. Again, this flat's anywhere from four to six feet deep. Big patches of grass out here, a lot of big sand holes. You'll run into some small sharks out here, all kinds of different species. I'm gonna try a marshmallow an electric chicken and see if we can get it to work. You know, pink, as far as trout goes, is usually a pretty good color. So we're gonna see if we can't get at that great action on that tail there. Let's see if we can load up. I don't know if bluefish will attack an electric chicken or not. Let's find out. Oh, I think they will. <laughs> First cast. There you go. It's a little better trout. Not real big, but 15, 16 inches. First cast with the electric chicken. Who came up with electric chicken, by the way? I know that's a, it's a, it's a color that's <laughs> been around forever, but who called it, who's the first guy that said, we're gonna call that electric chicken? I think we first, you know, the first color was Texas chicken, and then they came up with the electric chicken by <laughs> giving it the electric chicken. There's one. Really? A little trout. A little trout. Oh, we go. Nice, nice trout. trout. Yeah, that's right a big trout. Like I said, I knew there was some really nice fish in here, and that's a good one right there. Just having to 
drift across and work a little bit, that's a nicer fish. Nicer fish. Yeah. Uh -oh. that chartreuse ice? Yeah, that's chartreuse ice this morning. Oh, perfect release, didn't have to touch it. Again, just a chartreuse back. Kind of got the ice color, the flakes, icy looking flakes in it. Got a quarter ounce jig head. Mirror lures jig heads have a little bit of a, a longer shank to them, which I like, kind of eliminates some of that short strike that you can get sometimes with trout and redfish. All right, there's a good trout. We need a couple more of those. Real Animals Tip of the Week, brought to you by Mosaic. You know, when we're headed for the beach, the sun's already up, usually we always remember our sunscreen. Sometimes we go fishing, it's actually dark out. We usually hit the water pretty early and a lot of us forget to put our sunscreen on. Little trick I learned, I put my sunscreen on before I leave the house in the morning. I'm on the water a lot, being a charter captain and tournament fisherman with the TV show and all. So I always use a 75 or 80, put it on, goes on really thick, may seem a little heavy, but trust me, if you're gonna be out there all day, you get into a big bite, you'll forget to reapply. It's always better to use a little heavier sunscreen than a little lighter. Also, remember your lips. It's one of the most important things you can remember. Put some lip sunscreen balm in your pocket, take it with you, reapply it several times a day. As you're licking your lips and rubbing your lips, this stuff will come off. Nothing worse than getting your lips totally burnt off your face. The other thing is there's a lot of apparel out now to protect us from the sun. They make some great gloves you can use to cover up your hands. The shirts that I wear for the show are 50 UPF, great protection from the dangerous rays of the sun. We live in Florida, wear your sunscreen, be safe, don't be sorry. That's gonna be your tip of the week. Real Animals Tip of the Week, brought to you by Mosaic. All we did here, we got a southeast wind this morning, so we made our first drift, caught bluefish and trout and had a, had a really good run through this grass as it got a little bit deeper the bite slowed down so all i did was i circled back around started my drift again we got an outgoing tide again this morning for another about two hours southeast wind is going to push us off over this nice and easy i got the trolling motor in the water but we don't really need it this morning that breeze is just perfect just kind of working us across this deep grass flat i've got a, another new color of bourbon see we've got a few new colors coming out this year they're gonna have this clear sparkly tail. So it's like a bourbon color right here. See, I can hear Mike, sounds like another trout. He's trying to catch them quick while I'm showing you the color. <laughs> I'm trying to catch up, this is a better fish right here. But there it is. You can see we got him with that screw on. He's locked on there, good. That's a little better trout right there. Very nice. That's a little better trout right there. Again, you know, just kind of going to work this morning. If we uh, if we were in the mood for a fish fry, we could be doing pretty well. I'm always in the mood for a fish fry, but there's one. Did you get a bit again? Uh, I think it came off right there. Come on. The only problem with the D hooker, when you get one that absolutely attacks it like that, it gets a little tough. There we go. That chartreuse ice, little John, is absolutely getting it done. Of course, so is the marshmallow and everything that Mike's throwing. <laughs> the mirror lure, the mirror lure plastics are getting it done this morning. I don't know what that is. It's staying down. Is that my blue? I think he's foul hooked. It is foul hooked. I was like a, I was like a ninja right there. I just sensed his presence and whacked him like Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, just I, like you. I, I am near <laughs> a six foot five, oh. six foot five inch Yoda. <laughs> I sense the trout. And I stuck him. My trusty mirror lure lightsaber. I'm gonna go ahead and try our mirrodine. We've had our mirrodine out for quite a while now. We've got a couple different versions of the Mirrodine, the 17MR. This year we're gonna come out with a broken glass series. You know, we've had a broken glass for quite a while. It's mainly been all custom baits that we built, but a lot of people love to have that reflection. You can see 
the sun. So we're now going to come out with about 10 colors in that that will all feature this broken glass insert in either a silver or a gold. How are you working the, the Miradine? Um, just giving it a couple twitches here and there, sometimes a little faster, sometimes a little slower, then just reeling up my slack. You know, just pop, pop. And I like to vary my speeds because it seems like it always it can be different any day. Sure. You know, sometimes those fish are going to want it a little quicker, sometimes a little slower. I think that's one of the things that people don't do enough with artificials is, is, is do just that. Make sure you kind of vary your speed and, you know, from day to day. Some days they eat it on the drop, mm -hmm. some days they eat it, you know, a little faster presentation. Listen, I am in complete Yoda <laughs> mode, okay? Just sense when they're near. I just sense when they're near. It's the power of my uh, mirror lure Little John in the lightsaber color here. <laughs> Unbelievable, that's the second one of those I've whacked in the belly today. Real Animals Tackle Box presented by CCA Florida and the CCA Star Tournament. In today's Real Animals Tackle Box, Mike and I were using 7 foot 6 inch medium action AR-15 rods by Bow Bay Rods, Quantum Smoke 40 PTS spinning reels with 15 pound braided line and 25 pound fluorocarbon leader. We were throwing a bunch of different mirror lure baits including the mirror lure Miradine 17 MR and the mirror lure Little John in chartreuse ice and the marshmallow in pearl both were fished on quarter ounce jig heads. Real Animals Tackle Box is brought to you by Quan, the real choice for the real animals. Strike King, number one in fishing lures. Mira Lure, the record setters. Ingle Coolers, the first, the best, your last. Bull Bay Rods, combined with original Fuji guides for a difference you can feel. Real Animals Tackle Box presented by CCA Florida and the CCA Star Tournament. Mike, today, you know, we've caught a lot of fish. Uh, the, the bite there at the end was kind of on that new Miradine you guys are coming out with, but mostly this morning we were throwing your line of plastics. And, yeah. And we had some luck on the Marshminnow and the Little John. Uh, yesterday I was throwing the Soft Shad out here, worked really, really well. Let's kind of break down the plastic line just a little bit for everybody. All right, we'll start with the oldest bait that's in the line. It's the Soft Shad, it's a nice paddle tail, you can see. Four inch bait. Four inch bait. It's got a nice little wobble to it there. It's one of my favorite parts about that bait is I think that thin tail area gives it a whole bunch of action. And it gives it that vibration in the water, you know, so a lot on the drop, you know, and then also you can cast it out very user friendly. You can cast it out and just reel just it in. The action's kind of built in. What else we got? One of the other baits we're using today is our other paddle tail, which is the marshmallow. It's got a little bit wider profile a wider bait. It also has a slot so you got a little bit of a target for when you're hooking that on. Okay. You know, and it, again, the paddle tail is going to have that nice vibration, really work through the water and swim very well. This bait, I, it works really well for me rigged weedless as well, like on, yeah. a, on a weighted bass hook. That little slot gives you an extra area to kind of get that hook down and hidden. I've caught a lot of snook, a lot of redfish on the marshmallow already. The bait we are throwing today mostly was the Little John. You can see it's it doesn't look like a whole lot. It's a tube bait. You're going to let this one twitch along the bottom. You know, make sure you keep your rod, your line tight. Keep your rod tip up and so you can feel it as you're going along. Right. Pop it along the bottom and it's just going to keep going. And you can see it was very effective today. We caught a lot of fish with that one. Kind today. of the rat tail. Looks yep. like a rat tail. And it casts like a dart. It really A lot does. of other baits, you know, soft plastics will do what we call helicoptering and spinning like that. They don't cast that well, but this bait will just go through the air like a dart. I like to use that bait a lot around the docks because of the profile, because it's all rounded the way it is. You can skip it right up underneath the docks, underneath the mangroves. You can get up underneath and get to some of them fish that are hiding in the back. It's a great bait. We got the Little John's big brother, the Little John XL. It's a little bit wider. It's got a nice slot right there for you to read. You can see here that we've rigged this one weedless with a keel weight. You just have your hook come right through there. That way, you know, if you are wanting to skip under some mangroves, you know, or right. fish in some different areas, or even if, you know, if there's a lot of weeds and you're fishing shallow, this is a great bait. It's 
it's not going to have a very loud presentation into the water, then you can kind of work it the same way, just popping it through the water nice and slow, and you're not going to get any weeds on that one. Another great bait from the mirror lure line. And then we got the Provoker, right? Yep. And Tell me the about the Provoker. The five inch. It's another twitch bait, you know, with a straight tail. Has that slot again, so it gives you the opportunity if you want to rig it weedless, you know, or you can just have it come straight through with a regular jig head. Right. You know, it gives you that versatility. A little bit bigger profile. A little too, bigger yeah. profile, you know, some days when, you know, you, you want, you know, it could be darker, whatever the reason, but, you know, it's going to be able to, fish are going to be able to pick it up a little bit more in the water. Absolutely fantastic line of baits. As you can see, we caught a ton of fish on them today. Super tough. Uh, line of baits, the, the material that you guys make them out of holds up really, really well. Redfish, snook, trout, almost anything that swims here on the west coast of Florida, you can catch them on mirror lures. If you're in Louisiana, South Carolina, wherever it may be, get to your local retailers, ask for mirror lures, you won't be disappointed. So hard for somebody like me, serious ADD. <laughs> nice That's trout. A nice fish. There we go. Oh, double, huh? Yep. Right off that grass. Oh, we got a nice trout right here. Atta boy. We're jumping out of the water, getting all crazy, huh? Oh, no. Yeah. No, is it a blue? Blue. Yep. You got another blue. You're fired. <laughs> I got a silver trout. You got a blue fish. Uh, I thought I had a nice trout there for a minute. Oh, look at that blue trout. <laughs> Come here, knothead. I'm going to let you go. There you go. There you go. I get it. Those are cool. Again, and this is a good size on light tackle. Yep. Mike was trying to put that bluefish in my lap. <laughs> Come here. You guys got to be careful because they do have chompers and they will get you. Except you're spitting out bait the whole time. Yeah. Oh, you're going to need a new marshmallow. Huh? Got a boy, Mike. Those are nice. a cool fish right there. Cool fish. All right. Thank you. Hey, you're welcome. Are you going to let me catch one of those or what? I'm trying. I'm trying to bring them in. <laughs> Closed captioning brought to you by Gator Ford. The Real Animals Hook It and Cook It brought to you by Rumfish Grill at the Guy Harvey Outpost. I'm at the Rumfish Grill on St. Pete Beach, St. Pete Beach, Florida. I'm with Chef Tyson. Chef, what are we cooking today? Today we're going to be making shrimp and grits. We're going to start with a little oil on the bottom of the pan. We have our gulf shrimp. I use six pieces per order. So we're going to brown the shrimp on the one side. Once you get that color on the one side, I'm going to flip them over. And now we're going to make our pan sauce. So we add some shallots, some minced shallots in there, some garlic. We're going to deglaze with a little white wine. Nice uh, shrimp stock. Now we're gonna add our shrimp and grit base for the sauce. This is basically some stewed tomatoes, caramelized onion, some tasso ham, and pickled okra. Cook the stock out, bring the grit sauce back. Um, our grits over here are stone ground grits. We use stock and cream, butter, pecorino cheese. So our stock is basically cooked, up, cooked down now. It's getting chunky again. We're gonna add a little chopped thyme sprigs to there. Okay a little basil. Then we're gonna add our butter. It's gonna add a little richness. All right, so now that the butter's all the way incorporated, we're gonna finish it with a little parsley. So we're just gonna line the shrimp around our grits. And we just like to top our shrimp and grits with some sauteed spinach. It's sauteed with a little olive oil and some minced shallots. Looks amazing, smells amazing. Great job, Chef. Thank you. For this recipe and more, go to our website. Real Animals Hook It and Cook It, brought to you by Rumfish Grill at the Guy Harvey Outpost. In the over 20 years I've been fishing down here and playing with the mirror lure baits, I've yet to see anything that they've come out with that hasn't worked. It's just that simple. that You don't, you don't have to say a whole lot about them. You just get results with mirror lure. Eric and the, the whole company does a great job at bringing out baits that, that work not only here on the west coast of Florida, but everywhere. Real popular in Louisiana. And there he is. On the Miradine. I think this is your bluefish. It probably is my bluefish. As he ties on the new Miradine and gets thrown in the water, it is a blue, look at that. 
Nice job, Hey, Mike. there's like three or four women. Yeah. I'll keep casting. You want to cast Thanks a lot. <laughs> you are going to end up Look at there. There. They're everywhere. Oh, no, I've got two. I'm sorry. Wow. <laughs> huh? Listen, listen. Any show can catch fish one at a time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna resort to knowing how bad that you want to catch one. <laughs> and now you catch two. I thought I would show you. Just how easy it is by catching two at a time. Oh. Why not? Well, listen. That's just not something you see every day. That's straight. I'd be careful. I'm gonna. <laughs> That's straw. One came off. Oh, you Thank go. you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Only here at Real Animals do you, can you catch them two oh, at a wow. time. That's fine. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> there you go. Two bluefish at one time. That's how we get it done here at Real Animals. Mike Tinian, thank you so much. Thank you. Absolutely had a blast this morning. Tide wasn't great. Had a great you know, opportunity to get on the water. We just went, caught a pile of fish. You doubled up on a bluefish, left me hanging on the bluefish. Absolutely a great morning. If you're coming to Central Florida, and we certainly hope you are, if you want to go fishing, you can give us a call, 1-866-GAMEFISH. For more great fishing info, you can log on to the website, realanimalsfishingteam.com. Remember, you can follow me on Facebook at Facebook slash Real Animals. And most importantly, whatever you do, don't let your kid be the one that got away. Real Animals Fishing Show has been brought to you by Mosaic, helping the world grow the food it needs.